not your first time in this room, but what's it like being here for the first time as a member of the Rangers? Uh, no different, really. Um, obviously, I had some time to get adjusted to the team. Now I'm being December, so just another game back in Pittsburgh. What was the offseason like for you? I mean, you know, a guy like yourself is going to be the man most likely. But just, I mean, what was that like from that standpoint? Um, it was weird. I mean, I've always uh, I've been on two teams in my career, and it's always been like uh, you know what you're getting every time. Every summer, you're just working to get ready for the season with the team that you've been with, and um, obviously having to decide where I wanted to go and pick the right fit for me was a little nerve-wracking and anxious, but uh, I thought I found found a good fit, so. It was also extremely exciting. What is the fit here? I mean, what did you like about you know, what they offered you, or just the, the, the opportunity that you have here? Um, there was a lot. I mean, played against them in the playoffs last year. They were uh, an extremely exciting team to play against. Had a lot of skill, a lot of young skill. I felt that they'd be uh, a good fit in the sense that they'd be good for a long time. And, uh, obviously, winning is something that I really want to do. Uh, having Kirk as a coach, had him in Florida was. Another big sell. Um, loved him when I had him in Florida, so him being here was made things easier for comfortability. I feel like having an off day here in your hometown, so close to the holidays, be able to like see family and everything like that. Yeah, it was great. We, uh, I took the whole team over to my house, and, and my grandma cooked a, cooked everybody a big <laughs> Italian dinner, so it was nice. That's awesome. What was on the menu? Chicken parm, pasta, steak patil, um, chicken cutlet, meatballs. I made a big feast. Is that why you were out there late skating some calories? Yeah, I was trying to skate them off. Does this one tonight feel a little bit different than your average December game, just with how each team's playing and how like tight the top four teams than the Metro are right now? Yeah, it's a big game. I mean, obviously we're tight in the, in the standings, both Metropolitan teams. So um, with a break coming up with three days off and. We have back-to-back -back games against teams in our division. It's um, important for us to keep this rolling. You're a big part of you know, the grassroots level of hockey here in Pittsburgh. Uh, kid last summer, Vince uh, Logan Nicoli, gets drafted number three overall. Just how much did you pay attention to that? Do you know him at all? Did you just, what was your observation of him maybe setting a new standard, even above the standard you've set? Yeah, it's awesome to see. I mean, obviously Mario's done a great job of building up these hockey in Pittsburgh, and I feel like it's only going to get continue to grow more and more. And um, I know Logan. I've skated with him, and he's a fantastic, skilled player. Uh, I've been lucky enough to know his family, his cousins pretty well. And uh, there's another one coming up, L.J. Mooney, his, his cousin, who's young in Pittsburgh. And, uh, great family, great hockey players. Uh, so it's been fun to kind of watch him and been following along with what he's doing in Minnesota, so it's nice to see you guys from Pittsburgh kind of getting a little bit more attention.